Hello again everyone, it's Vince Foreman from TradeWinds.com and this is our update for August 2nd, 2016. Let's take a quick look at today's markets. Well, seven straight now for the Dow. Seven straight days of lower prices. And today we finally got some real movement. Uh, the first in weeks, I mean, uh, a, a much wider range today now. We were much lower in the session, did make most of that back, but still ended lower by 90 points on the Dow. The S&P 500 was down 14 again made about half of that back it, it was lower earlier in the session and nasdaq was down 46 uh at the end of the day so finally some real movement but definitely these retracements are full are in full swing right now the russell had a very significant down they actually closed near its lows and and, and that was pretty important now it is if you look to your left near a previous high near an area of support here Based on this candle, we could see a bit more pullback. Momentum still fully intact, though, so that'll be one to watch. Bonds gap lower and finish lower, down a point and a half, while gold was up strongly on the day. A uh, gap here, very low range day, but did gap and finished uh, right around 30, 1370, or so currently at 1372 on the futures contract. And crude continues the the bleed i mean it, it what a falling knife here um who knows where this will end we're hoping for some type of pullback to take advantage of another leg lower but right now uh crude oil here in in a, a heap of pain right now um some other stocks to to keep an eye on are actually the financials the financials i think are going to have a lot to do with the next leg of this market and if we look at these I'll, I'll bring up several here let's start with bank of america and you know they're all in a very similar pattern all have bounced off lows here moved higher have not eclipsed these highs just yet but have pulled back and so holding the support and bouncing again higher is going to be very very important if we give way here as you can see here there is a level of support and if if that gives way okay and we go lower um then i think we can expect a bigger pullback in the markets overall let's look at citigroup same formation um wells fargo again same formation a couple of these are actually below the moving average right now let's look at jp morgan here and it's right there and even american express so again a lot of them uh have with a very very similar pattern whether or not they're going to hold uh, is the question and that's what we'll have to see but also another thing to keep an eye on is the jobs report due out friday morning that's going to be very very important i think that's the next big item on the list for the markets this week okay we'll keep an eye on all of those things but that's about it for now enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you on our next update